Anyway, what's up guys? It's Demi. You know me. I'm here to teach you a lesson about like some arpeggiations and stuff like that. And just like, um, just talking about like practicing stuff and uh, how to get really tight really quick. If you can just wait one second. What's the most important thing you need if you're trying to get your sweeps down, get your shreds down, all that stuff? What's the most important thing? This, the metronome. You need it. You need to use it all the time. All the stuff that we, that you hear people play like, that really, f we're using a metronome to play slowly, like, and, uh, you know, putting that thing on 70, and it, it makes, it, it'll really help and improve how fast you can play, because the slower you can play it, the faster you can play it. Don't be the guy who just learns, who just tries to play it really fast all the time, because the truth is, for me personally, I like sweeps, but I... I really like sweeps around 70 to 90. I just like that slow tone. That, or, like right there where you can really hear every note and you're really nailing every note. So anyway, what I like to do when I'm practicing stuff is because of the way you want to use, uh, you know, the sweeps and stuff is, you know, pick a key and then play, or try to play the notes in that key. So if we have like an A minor, uh, this anyway I'm tuned to, for all the kids that are playing along at home this is tuned to E standard it's just regular E standard so I'm just gonna play an A minor arpeggiation if you watch any of my videos you've learned it starts on the 12 position goes 15 14 14 14 13 12 17 and then back up again okay so what would be the next note it'd be B right like if we were playing A minor so B would be up here. You want to play this, do a six string arpeggiation. This is a five string. You want to do a six string arpeggiation, starting on the seventh position, and then going into the ten, nine, nine, uh, eight. So it'd be seven, ten, nine, nine, eight. Oh no, this would be a major, so it'd be seven. Oh no, that's minor. So, okay, you want to go 7, 10, 9, 9, 8, 7, 7, hammer on 12. Sorry. Again, try to nail that. So then the next note would be, uh, you know, C. So C is right next to that, we just move up. So. You can just take stuff like that and practice putting it in rounds, you know what I mean? Because one thing I, you gotta, if you want to sweep like the way I do it, it's uh, how I just kind of let it endlessly go. It's just like in a round, it's in like a circle, it just keeps going. Uh, you, you gotta practice it that way, so anyway, here we go. Here, uh, here it is. Again, I went back to the to B again after I hit C just to finish the phrase. But I mean, you could play something like right A, B. Sorry, I'm really muffing these. Things. Anyway, you know I don't claim to be the best. So anyway, so then you would go to D sharp. E, F, uh, you know, and then back to the top again. And that's just, you can do that in any note sequence, you know what I mean? You're playing E and you play, you know, one, two, three, four, five, all that. Or play the fifths or play the sevenths, it depends, you know, you mix it up and that's how you use it. So, but just remember your six strings, those are important at the top. You can use it like, I like to do one of these. And not hit that last note, but kind of leave it hanging. But anyway, it's all up to you and how you create and don't create stuff. So, all right. Have a good one. And uh, if you have a chance, I'm actually headlining a shred thing on uh, Thursday at the Rogue Bar in Scottsdale. If you guys want to come out, uh, it's only five bucks. And it's like a bunch of catered food and art and like the top shredders. So, you know. 
amateur locals, why not? But yeah, okay guys, have a good one.